Welcome back to ABC 7 and 10. To extra depth now on the NMSU baseball program's lackluster start to the season, which sees them winless as they begin whack play. Last week, NMSU firing head coach Mike Kirby because of those results, and ABC 7's Rachel Phillips looks at what's ahead for the new interim head coach bringing to the team and how he's going about turning around this program and this season as a whole. The Aggies ended last season on a Cinderella run, earning WAC champions of 2022. And a lot of people thought they'd bring that same intensity into this season. But instead, we've seen them start the season 0 and 10, which in turn has seen a coaching change at the very top. Now, the hope is that that coaching change will change the course of this season. We've just been uh, working hard every single day, trying to get the boys to feel right again and, and somewhat treat this like, like a new season. This is now interim head coach Keith Zuniga's first shot as the head coach of a D1 program after serving as the pitching coach and recruiting coordinator for the Aggies for the past two seasons and prior to that as an assistant at Bethune-Cookman. And while it may not be the ideal situation for his first time at the helm, the relationships he already has with the players, the belief he instills in his team, and the passion and culture he brings to the program could all be keys to turning a page. I would kind of describe it as a breath of fresh air because guys get a little bit more freedom now. You know, the, the coaches trust us and they've made that very, very apparent to us. Romeo Ballesteros is in his first season with the Aggies after Zuniga recruited him from Pima Community College, the same place he started his playing career back in 2014. Him being a young guy, actually a lot of our coaches being younger guys, it's easy for them to connect with us and I think that makes it a lot better when it comes to the tough situations that we're in, especially, you know, right now. So having them, you know, by our side every step of the way is, is huge for us. When you get into a high pressure situation and you look into the dugout and, and he bumps his chest and he, you know he has your back um, and then you complete the job and, and you come in and he's fired up, it's just a really good feeling to, to know that he's right there with you. I'm definitely all on board for Coach Keith Zuniga. Yeah. And being on board under Zuniga is all about the basics. Just holding these guys accountable and getting back to doing the little things the right way so that when it is time to go take it in between the white lines, things will go as planned. And we know we have that caliber ball team. The Aggies will look to turn the season around as they begin a whack play on Friday in a three-game stretch on the road at Grand Canyon University. For now, reporting from Presley Askew Field, Rachel Phillips, ABC7.